Welcome to another video from Greylau60. Today I'm going to be talking about how YouTubers um, influence people around them or people on uh, YouTube or uh, can influence how people think about places like, you got it, places like mainland China. As a China vlogger, uh, I hear over and over and over again because I, I do basically vlogs out of Nanning, China. People saying, you know, I never would have traveled to, to Nanning, but now it's on my uh, on my list, my bucket list of places to go. Uh, I never thought I would travel to Nanning, but I have because of your videos and showing you the streets of, of Nanning. But it goes further than that. It's, it's one of those things that uh, we can have political influence both pro-China or anti-China depending on how you look at it, how you look at the world. Uh, with with uh, mainstream media being what it is today and and really shitting on China, just like you, you, every, every news article I've read or heard on the news from Fox and CNN and CBC and BBC and you name it, has an anti-China sort of lean to it and uh, being a, a person that really really likes China uh, and the way things are run here I, I look at that and I think you know that's not fair so what I try to do in my videos is even it out I know my small YouTube channel can never even out the bias that mainstream media is giving the world to see you know they 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 do these things for po political reasons uh, you know Fox News is is basically uh, uh, Republicans uh, CNN is p basically Democrats CBC is always liberal and uh, these people have no love for China one way or the other and and uh, as a youtuber I, I try to smooth it out as much as I possibly can that brings me to Saturday morning yes Saturday morning uh, Four content creators, Jio Nation, Matt at Jio Nation, uh, Alex from Reportify Media, another Alex from Alex Absolute, and yours truly, Guaylao60, are going to be talking about this exact topic. How China YouTubers can sort of influence the, the people that watch our, our, our videos. Not only watch them, but uh, how we can sort of portray because in in uh, in China now uh, China was a big tourist country a lot of people came to see uh, you know the Forbidden City a lot of people come to the Great Wall or the Tomb of the Emperors a lot of people go to Guilin and Beihai and you know the Karst Mountains and the Li River in Guilin and uh, you know the the South China Sea down in in Beihai a lot of people have come to China because China is the Middle Kingdom and uh, use it as sort of a tourist uh, place with all of the bad press that that China's been getting over the last three four months uh, tourism to China is going to be sort of thwarted and uh, I don't see that it has to be that way everybody's got a hate on for China right now around the world and uh, how, how, how are we going to be able to influence people to come back to China uh, because it's a great place to travel to. It's a it's an amazing country. It's got sights and scenes that you've never even dreamt of. It's got food. It's got culture. It's got people. It's got big cities and rural areas. It's got all of that stuff. So when mainstream media says China China is bad because of this, oh China's polluted. China has an authoritarian government. Uh, China uh, doesn't like the Uyghur population. China eats dogs. Well, actually, they do eat dogs. I, I've 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 been to Yulin. I've 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 seen the festival. I've uh, actually there's a dog meat restaurant about two blocks away from where I live here in Nanning, and uh, you know, but so they they try to portray all of this stuff as really negative stuff and and uh, but 
you know, eating kangaroo in, in Australia is okay. It seems like it's just a dog that hops higher, you know what I mean? You know, the, people, people have approached me. Uh, Swedish television, German television, Wall Street Journal. You got it. Wall Street Journal wanted me to do a, a, an interview with them. Turned it down. Can't trust a, a journalist. You know how I think about that. Uh, but CGTN, uh, China Global Television Network, uh, they uh, took one of my videos, put it on their Weibo account. It got over a million hits in, 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 an, in, in one day. You know, so influencing people because people watch your stuff and uh, they take something away from watching that particular that particular video or a set of videos or all your videos type thing so when people are, are promoting an anti-china agenda saying that they don't like the CCP but they love the people well, I gotta call bullshit on that because as, as soon as you start spouting anti-China this and anti-China that, you're actually hurting the people that you say that you love or like or, but, you know, and, and that gives a negative view to all of the people watching those videos. It isn't just a positive vibe that you put into your videos about China. It's, a, it's the negative vibes that you put into your videos about China or anywhere for that matter and uh, it, it, it influences people. So on Saturday morning at 9 o'clock China time, we're actually going to be discussing this with, with the four people on our panel and uh, I think it's going to be a great discussion just for the fact that um, you've got four different people that basically understand China and uh, have been around and, and done a lot of things. Some people live in China. Uh, Alex Absolute has a wife and children uh, that are actual actual uh, Chinese nationals. Uh, the perspective of uh, his understanding of China is is uh, something that people out there should watch and listen to. Just for the fact that you know he's got an invested interest in China. Uh, he'll tell you the good. He'll tell you the bad. He'll tell you the ugly. He'll tell you the pretty. And uh, so will Matt from Jayo Nation, so will Alex from Reportify Media, and so will I. Uh, you know, I've, I've done some pretty scathing ones on, on China, and, uh, and I get it thrown back in my face all the time. Oh, I thought you were this pro-China YouTuber. Well, yeah, but I see, the, I see some of the shit here, too. You know, it's not, I'm not freaking blind, guys. But the idea that uh, the tourist industry, the money that's coming into China from, from tourism, that's going to be uh, pretty hard to get back. Uh, cities like Chongqing or cities like Beijing, cities like Guilin and Beihai that have all of these tourist setups in them, uh, they, they sort of thrive on tourist dollars and even into Yulin now because uh, they've sort of taken it from the dog meat festival place to uh, a place where, because it's beautiful, it's got Karst Mountains, it's like a really beautiful area. And, and they're, they're trying to turn it into a, a tourist attraction for not only the, the local people, but uh, from people from around the world. As they do that, and then something like this comes up and bites them in the ass, how do you get those tourist people back? Mainstream media is not going to promote you. Um, if a Chinese news station or a Chinese vlogger on YouTube, Weibo, Billy Billy, uh, Tu Tiao, says, oh, China's great, this, that, the other thing, they're not going to listen to those people. Who are they going to listen to? Exactly. They're going to listen to the YouTubers that are here in China, that have history in China, that know China really good inside out and backwards. And people like myself, people like Matt, people like Alex and the other Alex. We got two Alexes. Anyway, it's, it's a little confusing, but uh, it's uh, no big deal. Uh, they're going to be listening to people like us to get the real story. Um, there's a lot of well-educated people out there that know that the mainstream media is skewed one way or the other. Uh, they know that people that live in China, like myself, have knowledge that other people don't have about the country. And I think that's important for them to understand what China really is. 
who China really is and how things work here. It's a little noisy, they're doing construction over here, but eh, shit happens. So the idea that, that YouTubers have this influence over their audience, uh, and it's worldwide too. Uh, I have people from El Salvador, Argentina, Russia, you freaking name it. Uh, Malaysia's, uh, I didn't know I was big in Malaysia, but I, I guess I am. I uh, got a, you know, walking down the street, uh, a day and a half, four people came up to me and said, you're way low 60. Yeah, you know, I did. It, it took me by surprise. But when you when you see this, then you understand that, that you do have that influence, and you and you might be able to curb that bad uh, mojo that the mainstream media is is spouting. And uh, if we get enough YouTubers living here in China, telling the outside world that it's not like that, it's not as bad as everybody in the in the mainstream media puts it out to be maybe we can do a little bit of uh, uh, good maybe we can lessen the damage that that these basically big turds let's call them shits uh, are, are are doing to this this amazing country and uh, remember this uh, this live stream is China 9 a.m. in the morning China Time. So uh, I'm not sure. I think that's six Pacific, nine Atlantic. I know it's two o'clock in the morning in the UK. Uh, so tune into that because it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, whether you're a hater, and I know you're out there, uh, I get lots of comments from from you guys, or a lover of China. Uh, you can you can show up in these live chats. You can. Uh, ask questions you can you can assist us in uh, in our channels you know because it's uh, everybody's out here doing it you know on their own time on their own dime to to make these videos to do these live streams to update you with what's going on in this in this crazy world that uh, that we live in and uh, yeah i guess i guess that's my spiel for today so that's another video from Grey Lao 60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Thanks for watching. Hit that bell. Make sure you comment. Uh, the more comments that I get, or the more subscribers I get, uh, the happier I am. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, oh, never forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause, guys. It's uh, for poor rural Chinese children. Uh, they just need a helping hand. We can give them that helping hand. Thanks for watching. Bye now.